Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly hanged it with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof Came back like I'm King Tut Go BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the profit not the re-up Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Main Just caught a touchdown From the Bay the victim hasn't been named, but sources tell us his murder may be linked to a robbery involving drugs. Eyewitness News confirmed about 20 kilos of cocaine were found both inside the victim's apartment and outside in the parking lot. The street value, roughly $2 million. Look, I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, your friend there, uh, who's the dealer? Take him to a movie. That's your friend, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Lulu. What? Lulu. Okay, what kind of name is that? I don't know, it's my name. <laughs> A 46-year-old man has died after being shot in the Roxborough section of Philadelphia. Police say the unidentified man was shot in the chest inside an apartment. This happened on the 7900 block of Henry Avenue at around 7.30 last night. He was taken to Einstein Medical Center but could not be saved. Witnesses told police two men fled the scene in a Nissan Maxima. So far, there is no word on a possible motive in the case. Two million dollar murder. Police sources say a significant player in Philadelphia's drug trade was shot dead inside this Roxborough apartment that was packed with drugs. Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. Many families live in that apartment community and many of them are rattled tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Patrol is live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the latest on the investigation, Matt. Joe, Philadelphia police tell us a huge amount of cocaine was found in the victim's high-rise apartment over in Roxborough. People we talked to there tell us that they are just as startled to hear the news about the drugs as they were when they heard those gunshots last night. It was like maybe like at least four to five. Pop, 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 pop. The crime scene tape is gone here at the Henry on the Park apartments on Henry Avenue in Roxborough. But people can still remember the loud bangs they heard just before 8 o'clock Saturday night when a 46-year-old man was shot and killed. Two men were then seen driving away in a dark Nissan Maxima. I didn't think that was going to happen down in this area at all. The victim hasn't been named, but sources tell us his murder may be linked to a robbery involving drugs. I Witness News confirmed about 20 kilos of cocaine were found both inside the victim's apartment and outside in the parking lot. The street value, roughly $2 million, and neighbors had no idea. It makes me scared to even just come out and walk my dog just like in my own home and stuff like that. Like, I'm very frightened. Now people who live here want the apartment owners to do more. They need to be screening these people better, you know, that are coming in here. And I, I think that we should have a security person. I just really want the gun violence to come to an end. And again, police have not yet released the name of that 46-year-old victim who had all that cocaine. They also have not yet released any information about a suspect. Reporting live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. A man who enjoyed bringing his love of horses to urban youth is gunned down in an apartment in Roxborough. Now his sister wants your help in finding his killer. Here's Rick Williams with tonight's Crime Fighters report. Eric was such a funny, silly, charismatic, but very generous guy. He was really generous. Elise Bay says her brother, Eric Miller's passion in life was horses. He had a program where he did horseback riding for youth in urban neighborhoods um, for free to give them an escape 
from the everyday life in the urban neighborhood. Elise says on Saturday evening, June 8th, Eric was in his apartment along the 7900 block of Henry Avenue in Philadelphia's Roxborough section. Police were called to the home just after 7.30 p.m. It was a robbery gone bad and they went in there, they robbed him and shot him essentially three times. The 46 year old was pronounced dead less than an hour later. If somebody needed something from him, he would give you the shirt off his back. So I don't understand why this happened. The city of Philadelphia is offering up to $20,000 in reward money for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the person responsible. All you have to do is call the Citizens Crime Commission at 215-546-TIPS. All calls will remain anonymous. There is kids who need closure, family who needs closure. He had tons of friends who were like family to him who would like to see somebody be brought to justice. For Crime Fighters, I'm Rick Williams. For Action News at 10. Could you imagine just a regular day and you walk out of your apartment complex onto the parking lot and you find a kilo? Nigga, y'all ever seen next day air? God sent this shit, nigga. Philadelphia, what up, though? This shit is pop lot. We back on mob business, and it's raining bricks outside. Fuck it. Could you imagine your next-door neighbor just moving 20 bricks, and you never know nothing about it? This shit gonna have niggas looking at their neighbors a lot different. Now, in this story today is gonna take us to the Roxborough section of Philadelphia. When in early June of 2019, police would respond to a call for multiple gunshots and it wouldn't be long before they would determine that they were investigating a drug trafficking homicide. Now today, I'm gonna be telling you the story of a 46 year old man by the name of Edward Daniel Miller, who according to his sister, was a very generous and kind man who seemed like somebody in the make of a philanthropist as his sister said that he will offer free horse riding lessons to inner city youth in the effort to give them a different look from their urban settings. But just like most people in the world, there were two sides to Eric Miller. And according to the Philadelphia Police Department, it would be this other side that would result in his murder. Now, authorities would arrive at the Henry on the Park high rise apartments on Saturday, June 8th, 2019. The apartments are located on the 7900 block of Henry Avenue. And from plain eyes view, looks like a normal residential area. Now, if anybody is looking for housing, they offer apartments from studio to four bedrooms with the price starting about $1,300 for a studio and $2,500 for a four bedroom. Now, as police will respond to the shooting at the high rise, I'm 100% sure that they were immediately shocked as they would find kilos in a parking lot before they would even get to the crime scene, which looked like it was an apartment on the first floor as news crews would broadcast from the scene showing a first floor apartment taped off with the screen door pulled open. Now, if they wasn't shocked pulling up to keys in a parking lot, now don't get me wrong, I'm sure you see some shit as a cop, especially a big city cop in a city like Philadelphia. But this case is a case that a cop is always gonna remember because when the investigation would conclude, they would determine that 46 year old Eric Miller was murdered, shot in the chest three times during the course of a drug robbery leading CBS Philadelphia to publish an article the very next day on June 9th, 2019, saying that the police believed that the Roxborough apartment homicide was linked to a multi-million dollar drug operation. And after it was all said and done, they would find more than $2 million worth of cocaine on the scene. Residents at the apartment complex would state that they would hear a series of pops before seeing two men running off from the scene, carrying boxes, getting into a black Nissan Altima. Now, this being a pretty brazen robbery, it's obvious that they didn't care about the dozens of people that probably could have seen them from their windows or balconies at this high rise. But if you ever been in the streets, you just know sometimes that the reward is worth that risk. 
And not that you ever would, but seeing how this all played out, I don't think Eric Miller seen this coming at all. Because one, not like that, but nigga, y'all seen Scarface in movies like that? Kilo deals get done with Colombians holding guns and shit like that. It ain't one of those situations like, oh, pull up to the house with your homeboy. Yep. Nope. Nigga, meet me at Whole Foods. And that's probably the most surprising and shocking thing to me because Eric Miller was no stranger to the drug game. As in 2009, he received 122 months, which is about 10 years for his ties to a drug conspiracy with a 37-year-old man by the name of Alfonso Caldwell, who had a much larger drug operation as it got took down for 500 keys. In this situation, the 30s would say it's about a 20-key situation with the robbers getting off with several of those keys. With the authorities having no more leads, the homicide of Eric Miller, just like many other murder cases in Philly, turned into a cold case. So if you're in the game, just know the streets is wicked. Well, I told y'all how I'm handling business. Y'all let me know. Y'all letting y'all mans and them pull up to the house for a three brick deal. Make sure y'all hit the red subscribe and the bell right under this video so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping. Y'all head downstairs, let me know where I need to head to, what I got wrong, what stories I missed, what gangsters I need to cover. Tap in with your guy directly, Instagram, Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Till the next time, y'all know the rules. Salute to the almighty mob.